let's open for business. Just like the name of the expansion pack. Oh, there's Snaggles, a straight, hey! folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and happy Throwback Thursday! So this time we're playing some more Sims 2, and I'm in Blue Water Village, which is the sub-neighborhood that came with the Open for Business expansion pack. I haven't re-explored this stuff in a good long time, so yeah, I figured it's about time that I try running a business, and just look at all these places. There's a furniture store, a gym, an electronics store, gallery, grocery store and just like so many other things and I almost forgot about this house <laughs> over here and then I ended up just scrolling to it by accident a minute ago it's like yeah the blue water village there's lots of water that is blue and thankfully not green and yeah lots of businesses buy said water so I feel like playing as Florence Della Rosa because um, oops that's not what I meant to click on uh, but she owns a flower shop, and since we can do flower arranging with seasons again in The Sims 4, thought, okay, sure, maybe I'll just do that in The Sims 2. And she actually runs a home business, <laughs> which uh, is pretty neat, because even though we can run retail businesses in The Sims 4, we can't really run them from home unless you have a certain mod installed. But. Yeah, we're just gonna jump right into this. I haven't <laughs> really played Azari. I just like went into her for a minute just to see what her place is like. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Because, I mean, what could happen to bad, right? So, <laughs> yeah, we got like uh, a nice little outdoor area over here at the barbecue. Actually, I might maybe put up the walls, see if it looks interesting. But, um... Oh, there's even like this stuff up here. Okay, wait, let's just put the roof up. So yeah, there you go. It's a better view of her house from the outside. Lots of flowers outside. There's a pond you can even fish in. And for some reason, there's some palm trees and cacti. But yeah, there's the seating area over there. And then, okay, so let's take a look at what's actually inside. So when you come in, there's the flower shop. There's actually a bunch of different plants here all set as like an average price and yeah there's the flower arranging workbench right here and there's the cash register because yeah sims actually use the cash register to pay in the sims too and a landline right there oh man throwback to those and yeah so you got like some washrooms and then here's her actual living space with um Okay, for a second, uh, sorry, I thought I had the walls down, but no, it's not the case. It's just cut away like this for some reason, but you got the piano there, TV, and then there's the kitchen. It's pretty decently sized, and there's her bedroom. So, yeah, she is living by herself. She wants to obtain a pet. I don't know if we're going to do that in this video. I do want to focus on her running the business, but before we open this, I do want to craft some flowers because I, I just really want to dive into this again. Okay, so she's got three kinds available. I'm sure there are more, but yeah. So one thing that The Sims 2 has are these talent badges, and it's kind of like a different way of illustrating a skill, except it's like bronze, silver, and gold levels of talent badges. The, uh, the closer to gold your talent badge is, the more stuff you can do with that skill. So... Uh, wow, you can even name all this stuff and write funny descriptions. Um, okay, uh, I was not prepared for this. Okay, we go with that and sure, I'll leave it at pink. And um, I just finished watching the latest Supergirl episode, so I'm gonna call it um, uh, Rain. Uh, these flowers, uh, they. Wow, I cannot type today. They will rain. And and no nobody will say otherwise. Okay. With these world conquering flowers, let's do this. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. So there was a scene where Guardian was playing basketball, and that's probably one of my favorite scenes in the entire show's run. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just thought that was really entertaining, just seeing uh, James in, like, this full costume <laughs> playing basketball, just, like, <laughs> throwing uh, over his back and all that stuff. I don't know. Uh, okay. I like how there's even flowers on the wallpaper and everything. It's like, make no mistake, this is definitely... A flower shop and not a bakery or uh, a grocery store or something like that. Yeah, I got a lot of things to be selling here. And Oh, yes. Also, I should show you the business panel that's over here. You can also, like, class it if you want. Flor <laughs> Florence has finished making a world killer. This item <laughs> will be in Florence's lot owner's inventory. So, yeah, you got all these different things. You got customer loyalty and they gain... Loyalty as they come to your business more often and are really satisfied with your service and price and everything uh, and Then you got employee information, but she's just working for herself. She had, doesn't seem to have any employees at all So that's good. Rod Humble is not an employee. He's just an NPC who drops off the uh, Computer that has a preview of the Sims 4 in it uh, Not sure if I'll be able to continue making more rain after <laughs> uh, Canceling it, but Let's just get this gift off there. Just, I, that'll annoy me if I just leave that there. Uh, is there a place I can maybe put this down? Oh, yeah, I can just replace that computer. All right, so. Uh, okay, wait. Oh, it, oh, I forgot. I, was, I thought the game was lagging for a second, but I forgot that J is the shortcut for the sledgehammer in this game. I'm used to it being K, so whoops. Uh, okay. So let's just get rid of these notifications. I do like how The Sims 4 handles its notification system. I think it's definitely like the cleanest of all of The Sims games so far. So we'll just place that there. And <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's sell some world killers here. All right. Um, da 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 da. Where should I place them though? I don't know. I guess there's plenty of space like over here and just place one there and I'll leave the other two in the inventory I guess uh, so I can just like restock and actually wait a minute how do you set things for sale like oh that's not what I wanted oh wait I think I have to do this business build tools yeah there we go it's all coming back to me oh, okay I guess maybe some of these are it to be decorative, just so it doesn't look like uh, it's all empty when uh, there's lots of business going. So sell rain there and see uh, there's like this average thing and then you can have it be like really expensive. <laughs> like, or you can uh, do that to like really cheap and he's like, oh yeah. And uh, yeah, so uh, I think I'll just set it as average for now. And there's like wholesale mode toggle where it's like, I think it's like you can set everything um, to like uh, be the same sort of price or uh, set things individually. So yeah, I, th I think I'll just leave it as it is for right now. Uh, but yeah, it's like locked. Well, everything's average anyway. So I guess maybe that's how it was done when they were going to ship this. But Anyways, I'll show you the other stuff. So business information, yeah, we have five business ranks, I believe. And there's Tenderfoot Trade as the title, business value, customer loyalty stars, five. That's like the total that we have, I think. Needs two customer loyalty stars to reach the next level. And then you have just like the cash flow and that sort of thing. Employees, yeah, I already showed that. And then there's also these business rewards. Oh, so we can actually maybe get one of these. I remember free time also has a similar UI for like uh, secondary aspirations. Um, how, okay. I don't know which of these is the best to go with. It's been so long since I've done this. Uh, the discount. I'm guessing we're probably going to need money. So let's start off with the Tim Letourneau price. <laughs> oh, we could still get one more. Okay. I wasn't sure how much they were worth exactly, but... Uh, I enjoy starting boost to all your new relationships. I think that was kind of handy. Uh, assess the mood. See how peeved another customer is. Hmm. 
Cast a for influence and take a nice swing upward. Uh, so maybe I should get the wholesale discount. Or no, actually, no, I don't want them to be two similar things that I get. So we'll get the double reputation. And okay. I think without further ado, we'll open this business. Okay, actually, she needs to go to the toilet. Whoa, okay, I'm not sure why I froze for a second there. But, okay, otherwise, her needs are pretty good. All right, let's open for business, just like the name of the expansion pack. Oh, there's Snaggles, a straight... Hey! <laughs> Don't ruin my flowers! <laughs> It's not something you have to worry about when this expansion pack first released because Open for Business was the third expansion and then Pets was the fourth. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, let's actually... No! Don't... <laughs> Stay out. Stay out. Out. And then lock so that pets can't come in. <laughs> Alright. I'm very excited that I tried this nature activity. Oh, okay. That's a free time thing. Alrighty. Let's see how this goes. Um, they're all like, not, well, okay, this person may go into the store. Ron Hurt. Okay, and I don't know what Steven's doing. So there should be like a, oh yeah, 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 the meter thing. Okay, I remember this. So you gotta do certain interactions with them to like impress them more. And then once this max is out, then you'll be able to get some business from them. They'll like buy whatever it is that they're looking at. And you are able to do more interactions as just basic sell. I think that might be something you get through the perks that I showed you earlier, but I don't remember. Uh, okay. So visitors arrived to the neighborhood. Ah, this isn't a good time. <laughs> Uh, oh, Lisa Ramirez. Okay, she's probably one of the Sims who runs the electronics store. Uh, but I remember one thing was that if you tried to sell uh, to your customers too much, then they would actually get tired. But okay, he's confused, so uh, you could be like, can I help you? Yeah, there we go. May I help you? Okay, just close that. And Steven's actually pretty high up already without me having to do anything, so that's cool. Alright, so we got a loyalty star for helping him out there. Oh, okay, he was actually going for um, for one of the ceiling plants there. Oh, he's not done yet though. Looks like he wants to get another uh, hanging plant, so... Alright, and he's buying some things. Yay, this is going well so far. Okay, um... Oh, does she need fun? No, she doesn't. Uh... She, no, the, I didn't even think about the welcome wagon. Oops. But, uh, oh, no, not higher. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Okay, uh, I'll do a basic sell with him. And, okay, got a loyalty star. Oh, yay, we're ranked two already. What good progress. But I remember this gets so much harder <laughs> once uh, you get farther along here. Kind of like how with... Uh, a superstar of The Sims 1. It, it got so difficult. <laughs> okay, let's do basic sell. And Matthew Smith. I think I remember you. You look familiar. I don't know if he's appeared in... He might have appeared in some of my other Sims 2 videos. I'm not sure. Oh, and by the way, I'm playing this as a sub-neighborhood of River Blossom Hills. So some Sims who appear in that neighborhood, I think are able to show up here. So yeah, <laughs> maybe Shelly Reed will appear here because yeah, that's where I first made her before I remade her in The Sims 4. Uh, but let's make some more flowers. Oh, okay, actually I'll have her finish uh, making that last uh, rain. <laughs> oh, actually I think Matthew Smith wants to, <laughs> wants to buy rain. Man, that's, that just feels so weird to say. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we gotta actually, um, we gotta ring up these customers. Uh, okay, stop. Stop making those. Yeah, because the thing is, if you take too long to ring up the customers, then the customers will throw a tantrum and throw their bags on the floor, and they'll leave and be very angry. And potentially, uh, you'll lose some loyalty stars as well. So, yeah, you, you gotta make sure. 
Uh, that all works out well. Yeah, see, even, like, he's just waiting in line behind him, and he's, like, not <laughs> liking that he had to wait. Uh, this is uh, room 15, Lake Meadow Circle, placed in the inventory. Okay, yeah, let's display that for everyone to see. Yeah! Bye for Smolian. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty small, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's what a Smolian dollar bill looks like in The Sims 2. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's let's get going again. <laughs> and yeah, the customer, uh, or rather, uh, cash register is another talent badge. So that is like another thing where it has like the three levels. And um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. I'm not gonna spoil what could potentially happen if it happens in a few seconds from now. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> that happens. <laughs> Just get gut punched by the cash register. Oh man, I I totally forgot about that until a few seconds ago. So that's why I was like, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> uh, let's do a basic sell because Steven's been standing there for a little while. And uh, yeah, let's let's sell Reigns. Like yeah, world killers. They're gonna take over the world, so you better be nice to them. <laughs> All right. Is anybody like sitting out here? No. Okay. It's just like an initial thing. Customers didn't know where to go for some reason. Oh, hey, it's raining. Got some seasons going on. Oh, yes, and it's like getting a little bit more hazy. Okay, that's really cool. And <laughs> she's like, oh, gee, it's raining. Oh, no, it's hailing. That's something we unfortunately will not see in Sims 4. Wah, wah. See, like, it's cool that, like, hail is there because it's like another weather type and Sims can also potentially die from hail. It's just like a little bit of challenge. Wait! Whoa! Okay! Okay! <laughs> I should have set the locks so that customers cannot come into the house. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely confused. But at least this other Sim here, Cheryl, found her way. <laughs> I think I remember her. She seems like a familiar face as well. Okay, so as soon as she gets out there... Okay. I suppose it might help if we um, did the whole... Or actually, no, we'll set it to household and employees only so that employees can take their, their breaks because, yeah, I probably should hire an employee. I just can't remember... Uh, how do we... Uh, oh, by using the phone. Okay. I, let's ring these customers up, though, because I'm already losing some loyalty stars. Or some points so towards it. I haven't lost like a whole star or anything, but. Okay, business. Hire employees for this lot. It'd be nice if they were able to officially allow home businesses in The Sims 4, because I, I know Singer Grant has expressed interest in making the retail system better, so hopefully. It'll happen eventually, even if it doesn't, like, happen this year or anything, but... Okay, so, they also have, like, a bunch of different skills there, and... Uh, yeah, some of them do factor into your business. Oh, yeah, and even Catherine right here has um, gardening level silver, so that's one talent badge. Although, um, well, actually, that might come in handy for flower arranging, I believe. Yeah, she has toy making. Does not apply to us at all, but... Uh, yeah, I remember one drawback is that it's kind of random, I think. It doesn't, like, show all the sims that you can hire. It's just, like, a few at a time that they show. But, um, yeah, I think we'll hire Catherine, although she might be a little expensive. We'll see, though. Uh, she already has a job? Oh, she's a teacher's aide. Oh, well, uh... Oh, I think I saw her there, though. Um, sure, let, let's just do it, though. She might like this more than being a teacher. I'm going to deal with, with them kids and their rap music and all that sort of thing. <laughs> uh, use the phone. Or use the, oh, okay. So we have to actually do that manually. Uh, call in employees. Oh, yeah, this is just talking to her. I do want to make some more flowers, though, so I can show you what else there is. Uh, yeah, maybe let's just scrap that rain. 
Okay. That. All right. So and make daisies, not to be confused with the Mario character. Tulips, wildflowers. Let's make wildflowers. Uh, <laughs> whoops. I hit the one and I thought I wanted to type it as one. Um, uh, geez, I don't know, man. I don't know what to call these things. If I was doing like a live stream, I'd be <laughs> able to ask for feedback. But unfortunately, my internet sucks. Like really, really sucks. So that's why... I don't live stream on Twitch anymore, but hopefully in the eventual future I can do it again. Let's call it Colossal Flower, and we'll leave the description, but we'll add y yo on the end. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. If you ever stay at work, don't forget to assign me a task. Okay. All right, there she is. Okay, good. She does have that green circle over her head. Um, what should we... Well, I guess we can have her uh, do the flower arranging. Um, okay, management. <laughs> You're fired. Make many daisy bouquets. Oh, she's just going right into the house. Wait, wait. What is Steven doing in our house? Ah, uh, this is annoying. Okay, I'll just cancel that. Whoa. S the show is intense. Alright. So, she's gonna make some things. Fairly paid, okay. So, I don't need to worry about the wages right now. You can also take a look at her. Now badges. Okay, I'll just I'll just make the regular daisy bouquets. I'm not gonna do some crazy, stupid description this time. Uh oh, jeez. Okay, ring up these customers. All right. Let's see if the cash register punches her in the stomach again. Okay. Yup. <laughs> All right. Got some more simoleons. Yeah, it is really cool how you can sell, like, almost anything in the game. I think there's just certain things from build mode that you can't sell, like, fences and doors. But you can sell, like, so many things that, like, the possibilities are almost endless. Okay, let's do so. Oh, no! Why do I keep clicking on that by accident? Sales, basic sell. Alright. What, what do you need? Oh, she's getting hungry. But, uh, let's do, like... Oh, okay, he wants to... Wants to have, um, uh, stuff rung up. Yeah, we probably should actually wrap this up soon, but... This does feel like a sort of thing where I'll need to do at least one more video of this. So, yeah. I might not revisit it, like, n next week or something. I do want to, like do other stuff as well, because I feel like I haven't done a nostalgic reaction video in a while, but yeah, this is kind of fun. I do want to do a little bit more of this. <laughs> Might play a little bit off camera, just so that we're in a slightly better spot, too. So it's like a little less grindy for all you watching. And Oh yeah, Morty Roth, I remember you. Yeah, you're from River Blossom Hills. Okay. Yeah, I remember I was actually, like, um, I used his household to get some footage for that Beds Update wishlist video that I did, like, a month or so ago. But, okay, yeah, as you can see she's building towards getting a talent badge for the cash register. But, yeah, I think it's time to call it a day. Let's close the business and we'll send everyone home, which is just her one employee. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll tend to her needs off camera and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this little revisiting of the sims 2 open for business i think this is one of the best expansions they've ever done for the sims not just for like for the sims 2 but for like in the whole franchise oh geez are we supposed to <laughs> ring up this one last customer okay we'll do that wait wait what are you doing come on he's gonna get angry oh 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 geez yep see that's what happens oh no we might be too late 
Oh, nope. Okay. We just made it. <laughs> She's just uh, ringing him up in her pajamas. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe because it lets me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it helps you keep up to date more easily with the latest content for me. I do videos on The Sims, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and just as I finish doing my outro, she goes to bed.